Welcome everyone. My name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist and we are painting the super cute Harry the Highland Cow today. So excited about this one. He has been a true favorite and we've got him on our website tipsyartist.com and a lovely paint kit for y'all. We also have prints of him. Um, so he's just awesome and available in all kinds of different forms for y'all. So, and we'd also really appreciate if you subscribe and follow today. That would really help us out a lot. Um, I'll be painting this, teaching you step by step. So let's talk about this lovely piece of paper here first. All right, so this is our traceable, and this is what we do to provide beginners with um, a wonderful start. So this comes with your kit. We provide all of your supplies, all your uh, paint and supplies here that you see that I'll be using today. So I went ahead, I did work ahead today a little bit, but this is transfer paper. This is your traceable, and this is the canvas, and I did go ahead and tape just right up here at the very top. I only tape there, and this allows me to lift and check the work as I go so I can make sure that I get all of those lines in place to begin with. And let's see here I use a pencil to do that very very simple so I'll just every time you see a line you just basically just draw right over the top so again we make that very very easy all right I'm gonna go ahead and turn down this volume just a little bit here let's see I'm gonna make sure that the music is more behind my voice makes it a little bit easier all right, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift this off now. You can see I did go ahead and work ahead. I'm just going to carefully remove this. Right, very nice. So he's all ready to paint and I will tell you too, if you want to maintain some of these lines in here, we also provide a permanent marker in that kit for you. This is optional, but this just helps to make sure that even with your paint, the line work will usually just kind of bleed through so you don't lose that trace. And I think this can be pretty helpful around the main shapes here. So you don't have to do all of it, but I'm going to go ahead and just do like just the main shapes here. So I'm going to just and then I'll go ahead and come in and around. This little cute snout. I've got this little nose holes or nostrils. Then work in a little. Your permanent marker will be brand new. Mine has been loved a little bit. <laughs> Mine's a little bit used. A little hard line here just in case keeps that in place these are some abstracted lines for that work in there so I'm going to go ahead and just leave that as just the graphite line we want those to be a little bit softer and this is more of a shaded look so I'm going to leave that as is so very minimal work today with our permanent marker but that is a new kit for you just in case all right so we've also got our paint kit nearby I've used mine a couple times it is very long lasting um, so that's good for you. And then I've got my water nearby here. Your brushes. Let's talk about our little family of brushes here. We've got our mama brush. And then our little buddy brush. And then our little bit brush. I've got some napkins nearby. I've got our mixing plates. And I did a little pre-start here with some extra titanium white and some Mars black. 
Of course, you've got that in your paint kit here as well. All right, so to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and start with the background first. So I'm going to be using my biggest brush here. This is my mama brush. And I'm gonna start with a nice big dollop of this titanium white. Always let your brush rest in the water when you're not using it. Acrylic paint can set up and dry pretty quickly on a brush, so you do want to be careful with that. I'm going to go ahead and mix in a little bit of some primary cyan blue. If you're opening your bottle for the first time as a new kit, there will be a little bit of a silver foil lining there, so you're going to have to peel that off. I'm just going to do a little dollop right there, a real small pea-sized dollop. Always remember to secure the lids back on your paint to keep those fresh. All right, so I've got my titanium white, which the visual on that looks like that. Here, I've got my Mars black. There that is. And again, our primary cyan blue. Okay, and we might want just a hint of some warmth in here too, every now and again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little touch of some cadmium yellow. Real tiny pea size amount there too. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick little rinse and then dry. And I'm gonna go right back into this big dollop of titanium white super tiny touch of the Mars Black. Let's mix those two together. We're going to get a light gray. And you can create even lighter sections of that by adding a little bit more white here to the side. Now I'm going to do a little tiny, tiny touch of my primary cyan blue. And we'll have a little bit of that off to the side as well. So I'll be kind of mixing all of this up here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do just a little crisscross stroke, back and forth, create some nice texture. And then as I go, I'll touch into a little bit of white. Again, just crisscross back and forth. When we have to cut in a little bit, I change how I hold the brush. So, Starting out, it's more over to the side, parallel to my canvas. And when I start to do my cut in, then I just do a firm press back and forth like this. I wanna to check to make sure I'm nice and thin again on the edge, and then I can come in and around those edges. And as we pull out, then change it back over to the flat side of the brush. And then continue that little crisscross pattern. Just back and forth. So it's just a really nice neutral look up there. And then I'm gonna continue this same coloring here down below. And I mentioned that little bit of warmth earlier, so you can just barely touch into that cadmium yellow. Sometimes we'll just push a little bit of that in. Kind of gives a creamy look to it, warms it up a little bit. So it's a lot of little dabbing into a little bit of this pure white, a little bit of that gray, a little bit of that slate blue over here. Very playful, fun mix. And you can touch into pure colors too and just kind of push those in, crisscross it back and forth. All right, 
So that is beautiful. So excited. Progress. So proud of y'all. Way to go. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse out. Get all that paint out of there. A little bit of firm pressure, round and round and round. Spin it. All right, now we're all clean again. Let's go ahead and squeegee out that excess moisture there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on the base of the coloring that comes in underneath all this beautiful hair that will eventually be there. And there's a lot of texture that will happen, but not yet. So immediately at this first stage, it's just a little bit of that coloring in the base. So I am going to take this lovely palette, if you will, off to the side. We're gonna mix up some brown. All right, so I'm gonna have some cadmium orange. Nice big dollop of that. It's almost like a nice fat nickel size of that. And we've got our Mars Black over here, so it's a mix of those two. So we've got our Cadmium Orange, Mars Black. Let's go ahead and take a little touch of that black. We're going to mix that. Oops, watch your arm. I just set my arm in my paint. So a little touch of black into that cadmium orange creates a brown. And you can kind of play with the mix and how dark you want it to be. Oh, guess what? I missed this part. Oopsie, that's easy to fix. I'm gonna come back in with little buddy. He's gonna come to my rescue. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that slate blue, the gray, we're gonna Position that into that little area there. There was a little bit of a peekaboo that came through there. All right, we're good now. All right, now we're going to come back into that lovely brown and we're going to go ahead and work this into the ear. And because we have a little bit of a separation here, I'm going to just barely touch into that white and just create a little bit of a contrast. I'm going to lighten up that brown a little bit so we don't lose the separation of where that ear begins and ends. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix back in that brown. And with the spreading of this, you can add a little tiny touch of water you can see how that allows that paint to be a bit more fluid and flow into that canvas space, into the porous sections of the canvas. And I'm gonna mix up a little bit more. So again, that's the black and the orange. Add a little bit of that touch of white in there. Kind of lighten this up a little bit. Just kind of pull it down. Almost pretend as though while you're painting, kind of feels like sometimes you're just already brushing that hair. Just act like you're brushing the hair of the cow. more white just to keep that little bit of separation of that hair up at the top. Because sometimes you can get a little bit lost with again the beginning and end of this hair and then the body that flows through underneath. 
So again, adding a little bit of that white just brings on kind of a nice little rust color. And you're already doing those first layers of texture here, which is really nice. A little bit more of that brown. I'm going to kind of work it back up into this section. A little bit of peekaboo with that canvas, so I'm going to go ahead and do a nice little paint over the top. So we've got a nice base there. Now we need some darker browns to come in behind here and underneath. So I'm gonna add a little bit more black. And I'm way out of paint. So I'm gonna go come back in with our cadmium orange. A bit more black here. I want a dark chocolate brown. We definitely want, see how different that is? Nice contrast again. Get more black in with that orange. happening there underneath and then we want it here too so you can see there's a distinct separation between that cute those cute bangs if you will that come up in the front Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now we've got our base, our foundation down. Let's go ahead and start to work on some of the face here, the so or the nose, if you will. So on this, I still want this to be a little bit different, so I'm gonna come in and make it a little bit darker because this is all very light. So let's come in and make this a little bit darker here just up at the top. Need a smaller brush. I'm gonna put Mama in the water. Let's come back in with little Buddy. Little Buddy is your little flat top here. I mixed up a little bit more of that cadmium orange and Mars black. And we're trying to preserve the shape here that we have and see there's beautiful contrast between this color and this color. We like that because that maintains that shape. Now as we start to get a little bit lower here, we've got dark, so we're going to have to lighten up to continue to have contrast. That's important. Or these two will mix and blend in with each other and you're going to lose where this begins and ends. So we have to be thoughtful about that in our planning. So let's go way light again, a lot more white. And next in just that pure titanium white in with that brown. So 
So now I've got good contrast again. And we'll play later and add a little bit more texture to this. But again, this helps preserve the shape of it. So, and then here in the center, it becomes quite a bit more golden. I'm darken this up just a little bit here. Right, let's go ahead and put Little Buddy in the water. Let's grab a little bit of some cadmium yellow. Actually, we have this over here, I forgot. Let's grab a little bit of that. Let's rinse out Little Buddy. Dry off a little bit. Let's grab this cadmium yellow and some white and some of this brown. So that was cadmium yellow. The brown that we mixed up, which again, that is that mix of cadmium orange and black and then white. So it creates a lovely khaki color. Still using our little buddy brush. Sometimes when we're close up, we miss spots. I'm missing. There we go. Not sure why I did that. Y'all are probably out there going, hello, you missed a spot. <laughs> and there it is. Okay. Ta da! Alright, let him rest in water. Again, we're getting that nice foundation down. a little bit of water. We're going to continue going into that khaki. Now it's becoming pretty tiny in here. So I'm going to put little buddy into the water. I'm going to take a little bit out. Let's dry off here. Come back into this. Put a little twist into that paint. And see this is pretty small in here so I need more of a pencil hold and some precision to get into those much smaller areas. And then kind of feather it back out. All right, so again, this is some really nice foundation work where you're not losing the shape of everything, but now we need to work in a little bit of some nuance of the texture. So what we're going to do now, now that we've got this shape in place, is we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of some white highlights. So I'm going to take my little buddy, I'm sorry, this is little bit, sorry a little bit. All right, and we're going to touch right into that titanium white. And we're just going to go ahead and do a little sweep here, kind of follow that curve. Provides a little highlight. Alright, so that is lovely. I'm going to feather this out here above this side. So there's the top, and then I'm going to come back in with a little bit more warmth. So here's my cadmium yellow and a little touch of that white. And I'm just going to push in a little bit more of that here in the center. Kind of sweep that back and forth just right there in the center. All right, now we're going to work back in a little bit of the brown. 
So that's our cadmium orange. And that black. But I'm almost leaving a little bit more of that cadmium, cadmium orange in the mix so that it has more of a rust quality to it. And I'm just going to make, it looks like a little valley here. Just a little soft sweeping. A valley of a stroke. Okay, a little bit of shading there. It's kind of nice. Awesome, awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and just continue to work this in. Look at a little cross hatching back and forth. Crisscross back and forth. So just take it step by step by step. Take it off in little bitty pieces of steps and then that way it doesn't overwhelm you too much. So as I'm placing this more of a rust color again, holding that brush a little bit more over to the side and just crisscrossing that stroke. a little bit of a soft blend into that warm creamy tone all right and I'm going to go ahead and go back into our black let's grab a little bit of water too and we're just going to kind of smooth out a little rough dash, just a big dash of black there. As I come towards the edges, I just kind of lift off with a light hand, very gentle hand on this. And I'll come down here, a little soft curve of black, and then down here. And for transitioning and blending, you can also work back in. So I'll grab a little bit of water and work back into that brown. Just kind of softly crisscross into it. Now we're going to pick up, this is still a little bit, and we're going to pick up some white, just pure white. And we're going to just hold it here on the side and just kind of take it across and then lift off with a light hand. Okay. And then we're going to rinse out. All right, now it's time to work on those beautiful horns. Oops, I saw another spot. It happens. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Ta da! Here we go. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, beautiful horns. Here we go. Okay, so I need that really awesome taupe color again. So I'm going to go ahead and take my white. Let's pick that up. And let's pick up some of this brown. So that's my orange and my black. So a little more um, rust than I want. So I'm gonna do some cadmium yellow. That 
let's stain it back to that khaki color that I want. Much better. And let's get more white. I want touches of some cooler grays in there too, so I have another little touch of black. Now we're going to go ahead and first let's get the foundation down. So we're just going to smooth that over into the horn shape here. Turn that brush handle more over to the side. That'll give us a gentle hand. Helps a lot more that paint just kind of rest on the surface. Now we need some definite texture here, so. I need to mix up some more brown. There's that black and orange. I'm twisting that out till I just mixed it up, but then my bristles get really full of paint. So you have to kind of twist it out to get a nice thin point again. And I want this to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to add in some of this color that we mix into that darker brown. And then I'm going to do some texture in here that makes sense on that horn. It's got a little bit of a curve, so it almost feels like you make a parentheses. And if your paint sets up and dries, you can also get a softer transition and mix between these two, the brown and this taupe here. So go back and forth. And again, it feels like you make little parentheses over and over again. You can add a little bit of white in there too. That's some nice texture. All right, so that's some nice texture on those horns. I'm going to come back in with a little bit of the dark and kind of curve back into it. All right, really nice. I'm going to do the same thing here on the other side. Again, it just kind of feels like you make little, like little parentheses. Let's squeeze you this out a little bit. repeat on the parentheses. So lots of repetition on that. And let's add a little touch of white in there. So we have our gorgeous horns done now. And now it's time to, actually we're gonna work in this background and then we're gonna come in with the bangs at the very end because the bangs are what kind of flow in over the top in our composition. So they're in the very um, first part of the foreground. So we're gonna leave that to the very last. All right, so let's work on some beautiful abstraction in here. Let's take Mama. Yeah, 
have some really pretty colors to work in. All right, let's grab some primary magenta. in my primary magenta here first. Attach that in. Just a little hint of that and then we're going to grab a little bit more orange here. Using the flat side of the brush, just kind of work that into the side and kind of gently lift up with a light hand. And we're going to come in with some primary cyan blue. Actually, we had some from earlier, so we'll use that. And then let's use some Viridian. Rinse out, dry off. Let's mix these two together. And a little bit of the titanium white. Beautiful, vibrant blue. This is primary cyan blue, viridian, and titanium white. And then let's go ahead and start from here using that flat side of the brush. Lay that down with a gentle hand. And we'll kind of lightly pull that across. All right, lovely. We're getting in our landscape. I love it. Rinse out. Now we're going to want to work back into some warmer tones here. All right, so I'll be using a lot more of our cadmium yellow. Nice big dollop of that. All right, and then we still have, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit more of this. Let's pick up that orange and a little bit of our Mars Black. Let's mix up some more brown. Cadmium Yellow. So we had our brown, we had our Cadmium Yellow, and then you can always light it up with even some more white. Remember that Titanium White went in there too. So again, that mix is our brown, our Cadmium Yellow, and then some white. And then remember that we mixed brown in the beginning with cadmium orange and Mars black. All right, so we've got this beautiful light color again. I'm gonna add a little bit more white to this. Make it a bit more golden. And we're gonna go ahead and just smooth this on over the top. I'm going to get right next to that edge. You can actually pull down vertical to begin with to get really close to do the cut in. And then now we're going to shift that pattern of the brush stroke. So then we're going to pull out to the side and do a horizontal stroke. Okay. And let's rinse out. We're going to do a sweeping stroke of some white right over the top while the paint is still wet. 
So here we go with our white. And just kind of lightly, you just barely touch the canvas. Just kind of lightly graze over the top. Keeping a lot of that beautiful texture. I'm going to come back in from this side, same thing. Kind of lightly drag that in over the top. Let's rinse out. Now we're going to pull in a little bit of this beautiful cadmium red. Just a tiny little pea sized dollop is all that's needed. Come back in with Mama. A little bit of that cadmium red. Now we're going to sweep this in from the base. Light, light, light hand, drag it all the way across, and we're done with that. You can do a little bit more blending if you want. But again, keep that brush super, super light. Just for fun, you can kind of play with different mixes in here. So we've got our landscape done in the back now, and now we're going to come back in. With our beautiful bangs right over the top. Alright, so let's take a look. I'm going to look at my model here, and I've got a little bit of shadow with the hair in the beginning. So I'm going to take Mama. I'm going to touch into a little bit of our Mars Black. And we're gonna just pushing down and just kind of pulling straight down here, lifting off with a light hand. There's a little bit of shadow on that ear, just like that. That'll come in handy nicely underneath some of those bangs and that long hair that comes in over the top. All right, a little bit of shadow there too. And I'm going to do a hard press back and forth into that black. And I'm going to start to make just little textures of hair. Again, you almost just kind of act like you're brushing the hair. Really light curves here. When you get close to the end of the stroke, then of course you just kind of lift off with a light hand. A little bit of a black shadow happening here too, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make that come into place. And I'll add a few more of those black lines. Definitely see how it's starting to really take shape here. A little bit of black shadow in here too. Just kind of put that down on the flat side of the brush. Just kind of lightly pull that down. bits of hair texture. Make sure when you come into your black again it's nice firm pressure as you load the brush. You want to make sure it's nice and thin on the edge. Otherwise the brush stroke can become a little bit too thick. Let Mama rest in the water a bit. We're going to grab some more colors. We want to make sure that our colors are plentiful in terms of what we use to go ahead and work in more of the hair. So, oops, wrong color there. Cadmium orange is what we need. Okay, cadmium orange, nice big dollop of that. 
finish this building now, just in case. And I've got lots of cadmium yellow, so that's good. Because we need to mix up more of this lighter color here. And it's just a little bit of that light brown mixed with our cadmium yellow again and our titanium white. So I'm using my mama brush again and we're going to do those sweeping strokes over the top. This is a really fun part of the painting because it's just lots of fun, long texture that you can do. It's very therapeutic. Still lots of layers that have to happen in here. So this is definitely, it looks a little bit rough at this point. That's okay. We know that we have lots of layers to work in. So I'm also going to work in a little bit of some gray. So I've got my white and my black. Start to fill in some of that. So stay on the back and forth. That in over the top. I'm going to switch over to my little buddy brush. just this brown now. So brown and cadmium orange back and forth. And already start to feel with more and more layers how it's just gets cuter and cuter. I need a few little sweeping layers through here. Some of these lighter colors, firm pressure, check your end nice and thin. And do a few little loose little hairs that come out over here again. It's a light little curve. little hairs here too. So working in those highlights. Even Harry the Highland Cow enjoys some nice highlights as we all do.
And this is creating some really light highlights here, so I'm going to have to blend back in with some darker shades. Kind of help transition that a little bit. Soften that up a little bit. We'll just work back into that. Just a lot of repetition. Try some action here with our little bit brush and our white paint here. And we're going to sweep that in. Coming back in with a little bit more of those warm, creamy tones. Kind of softly blend in that white a little bit. And you can literally just play with this for therapy for a long time. That's what's kind of fun about these little bangs here. Working back in some more brown over all those highlights. Again, lots of layers on this. And we're using a little bit of brush. The other thing I would recommend as you're doing this too is to take a step back from your painting. That'll help you know when to quit. It's like what I'll do is I'll actually look up in the monitor here with the camera. That kind of gives me a little bit of some perspective to know when maybe I've created too many highlights and I need to work back in the low lights or when it's time to stop because I've just put in all kinds of highlights, low lights, lots of pretty fun bangs and eventually we'll get to a point where we can stop here. Alright, so now we need to do the long stroke of the mama brush here. Got it nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and touch into this brown and the black. 
firm pressure back and forth, nice thin. Of course, keep in mind too, all Highland cows are different. They're all very unique with their, with their hair color and the amount of brown and different highlights that they have. So yours will be uniquely different by the time you get done, which is really fun. I'm creating a little bit more warmth in here now with just the cadmium yellow and the cadmium orange. It's kind of optional. You can keep it a little bit more muted if you want to. It kind of depends on the colors in your house. So you can warm it up a little bit or you can kind of keep the colors more cool. It's up to you. So Harry the Highland Cow is looking pretty much done. Of course you can continue on with your little bit of therapy <laughs> if you need it to just keep adding those layers. So yeah, it's looking great. And then of course you'll want to sign your masterpiece. So a couple of options here. This is all completely dry. usually recommend just using the permanent marker here to do your signature. So there's our little signature, very cute. All right, there we go. That, that was our time spent painting Harry the Highland Cow. He is such a cutie. Um, again, it's available on our website at tipsyartist.com. Find him in the painting kits, or if you happen to be local or you want to come see us in Guthrie, Oklahoma, we'll be uh, painting him in a studio class too, so you can check that out as well. So we'd love to have y'all. But again, thank you so much for painting with me today. Love seeing y'all, and we look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Y'all have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye.